And we're back. Well, uh, that was awkward. If you just came from watching the Food is My Weapon Chamomile and Kombucha Face Mask introduction video uh, blooper. Um, so I just wanted to do a quick video about if you opened up my fridge on any given night, um, what that would look like um, and what you would see and uh, how I kind of operate. Um, I'm in the middle of moving, so you, my kitchen is pretty clean right now. Um, I was going to do a short video on the Tupperware party, um, what's going on with that and uh, how easy that, that is and just keep the things organized and clean. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to have uh, my camera crew um, pause this. Thanks. All right. That was a cut. I'll do it. I'll do it. Okay. Alright. Yeah. I know. Burt Reynolds, 1972. Hashtag. I'm kidding. Okay. Um, so, let's just bring this guy closer. Alright. Um, so, bottom shelf first. Um, actually, you should have looked in this. So, um, lechuga. It's good. Um, uh, uh, no one actually knows what these are called, but... I heard they're pretty good. So, got onions, um, leeks, um, ginger, vegetables. Okay. Um, oops. So that tomato. Tomatoes actually belong outside. Um, tomatoes. Can chill outside. Those are cool. Um, they don't like to be in, in the refrigerator, actually. Um, and I actually, this isn't, I'm moving right now, so this isn't actually even how you should keep things. This is just an example of, because obviously things aren't spotless clean. I have a whole nother, other fridge for um, products, uh, things like that. Um, so in here, you're just going to have like uh, pre cooked spaghetti. Okay, um, you can have have um, uh, some staged pasta like this stuff. Um, super cool if you're making pies to have a crescent pie crust. You don't have to make your own phyllo dough or whatever. And easy. Um, some eggs from the farm uh, up in Big Bear. Uh, still got some chicken butt hairs on them. That's how you know they're good. Uh, we got some pickled Asian eggs. I've had the, uh, well, I keep revolving. Um, but you can keep these for months. Uh, they're fine. They're pickled. They're delicious. Awesome. Uh, um, so, and we also have uh, kimchi, which uh, is super annoying when people are like, oh, I wish you could smell this. But seriously, this is... Absolutely. Where's the camera? Oh, it's absolutely incredible. Um, kimchi. Kim chisel. Turn it up a little. Um, got a bunch more kimchi. Um, Big Bear, locally, you know, harvested, foraged, sustainably. Tomato sauce. Um, pickled collard greens. Um, and kale. Um, so, salt solution, lemon. Uh, also have, oh, maybe I should move this back because the angle, there, there we go, uh, animal stock, uh, this smells like nutmeg, cloves, uh, cinnamon, uh, it's awesome, hey, um, so you can keep this in your fridge for all year, uh, but you can use it, add to it, keep going, um, this one's hot seal, but, um, so I'm saving that. More kimchi, uh, you've got just regular pickles. Um, 
Mexican pickled veg. So, like, you see at a, um, you know, your Mexican restaurant, they'll have the pickled stuff going on in there. Same thing. Uh, I love to just snack on this stuff. Uh, it's great vegetable cooking for the day. And, of course, you've got the my little famous sauce that I always keep going with me, always uh, revolving. Um, and then you've got your Grandmaster. Oh, yes, here's the Grandmaster Jam. Oh, here's the Grandmaster Jam. That tin chisel uh, is no joke. Oh, it's no joke. So, uh, yeah, anyway, we're moving up to the other shelf. Um, we're just going to be moving up to the other shelf. So I'm going to have my camera crew uh, just lift that up with this cool technology that we have here in the Food is My Weapon studio. All right, uh, Gary, uh, Beth, thank you so much. All right, Karen, awesome, cool. All right. All right, well, we're moving up a little. Mango time. Still good, guys. Still good. So good. Wow. I'm excited too, Mr. Mango Jelly. Or Miss. I don't know what you identify as, Mr. Mango. Or Miss. Huh. Dead naming you, Mango. Um, wow. Ibarra. Always good. Um, I've already been through these jellies and jams, I believe. Uh, you've got your, your H2O um, Mazellan compote. It's a boom. It's a boom for fly. Um, fermenting mango. <laughs> so exciting. Snap, crackle, pop. Actually, would you guys like to hear? Sure. Where's the mic? Well, um, anyway, blueberry jelly. I've already showed you guys all this. Pear jelly. There's some new, I think. Yeah, there is. Hold on. Yeah, pickled mango. Just chilling. Delicious. Not for me. Yeah. The same way. Pear cinnamon. Pear. Pear cinnamon. Um. Sauce compote. Oh my gosh. So good. So. Um, and then we'll move down here, and then we have a curried rice, okay, and I'm not even going to begin with curry right now, uh, that's a whole other separate video, curry, because um, not many people know, curry is just a blend of spices and you know, seasoning, so, um, spices, so, uh, this is curried rice, and I'll show you my recipe on my blend of curry, um, you can, I do actually have some curry cubes um, that are cool. I haven't opened them yet um, or tried them, this brand. But you can have curry bouillon cubes, shave a little bit off of that. Uh, you know, life hack. Um, and here's just my Spanish rice. De arroz de la España. Oh, a chau. So, I que bueno. Ay, qué rico. Ay, la sabor. Órale, pues. Algo, um, so. Ah, de carnitas de la carnita. Why, thank you, I will. So you can always just have this, carnitas, okay? Um, ham, um, not mixed bean soaking. Ham. Slices. The church is very good to me. So, um, we've got hummus, some uh, homemade uh, hummus, just garbanzo beans. I'll do a quick video on that. Very basic stuff. Um, gonna eat some of that, actually. Oh man, the top shelf is getting over. So, uh, we've got carrots, uh, just in a little solution. Uh, lemon juice, a little bit of honey, a little bit of uh, uh, turmeric, a little bit of cumin, a lit, like the tiniest bit of cumin, just like, just the cumin dust when you open the can, a little cumin goes a long way, got that B.O. funky smell to it, so 
very strong for me. So I only barely use any, if at all. I like to actually create cumin flavor, not using cumin at all. There's curry flour. I mean, there's a million ways to emulate that, um, reinvent that flavor of cumin. Uh, so just cabbage, just salt brine cabbage. Um, got animal bones, so this is good, I guess, to ship. But animal bones, because when you have animal meat from, if you buy a whole chicken fryer, fryer, chi fryer chicken, um, save the stock, make stock, um, fill that in the pot, and you'll have a delicious stock that, uh, and you'll still get all those nutrients that's stuck and trapped in that marrow. Uh, and so you want that. That's good. We're meant to eat meat. I only, again, eat one to three pounds of animal protein a month, period. Um, at most, at most, uh, I have ham in here. I was just donated that. So when I get donated food, I try to give away as much of it I can and hosting people over for dinner and utilizing that ham that way. Uh, so nothing ever goes to waste. Uh, and if I have to eat some ham sandwich, uh, I mean, I won't eat a ham sandwich, but, uh, I'll do something with the ham. So food should never go to waste. Uh, there are too many starving and hungry people uh, that go without. Uh, if you see someone hungry, give them food. Please do that. Um, so, especially because all of this food that you see here is donated. I make $15 a month for food stamps, um, which is quite overwhelming to someone who, if they're told that they're only going to get $15 a month for just food stamps and if they don't have any other money, uh, it's a complicated situation. You can't judge anyone knowing what they're going through. Um, but the point is, even if you have a little bit of food, you can do a lot with it once you learn how to make food your weapon. Uh, and then you can be of service to others and you'll have excess food. Um, turn this up. Uh, and um, you've got green beans got uh, mixed veg, so this is actually really cool. Um, asparagus, this is onions. I think I have some wild ramp bulbs in here. Oh, no, hey, this is pickled cactus paddles. Those are pickled uh, cactus paddles mixed in with the um, pasilla peppers, but these are paddles for pick, uh, the cactus that I got from Big Bear. Yeah, um, and we have... Um, these are baby goose eggs that I collect from Big Bear Lake, uh, the baby geese. Um, so, um, I'm kidding. <laughs> These are potatoes, whole potatoes that I just have. In a... How many of you thought I was collecting baby geese eggs for a second? <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Um, so these are whole... <laughs> These are whole potatoes um, in oil and lemon juice, salt, and several seasonings. I actually think I even have some t some tahine in here, um, the Mexican candy sugary spice, which is funny. I play with different flavors. Why not, right? Um, where was this? Oh, uh, and then fermented chili. I mean, some actually no. This one is sambal olek. Um, that I've had for like six months or whatever. I, I think I keep messing with it. But yeah, this is just chili paste, this one. Um, you know, your jalapeno and vegetable. Um, oh, this is my, see, this is spicy, spicy ketchup. Um, but, but I'll show you how to make consomme and the, the tomato sauce. And so this is all homemade, but it's ketchup. So you can make your own ketchup. Oh my gosh. Uh, pointless to show you guys, I know. So pointless, but it is amazing. The spicy ketchup, homemade from real tomatoes, uh, and vinegar, sugar, salt, uh, organic. Uh, more peppers. Uh, this is all day. Um, this is salsa. Um, ooh. Oh, oh my gosh. So guys, um, please come on, lighting. Hey, Bar uh, Barb, can we get the lighting on? Uh, on cam two, thanks. The AFL is going great. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, yeah. Okay. No lighting's still shoddy. Hey, Tom, 
Okay. All right. Um, so some salsa right here um, that I made with organic ingredients. Uh, farm farmers are abundant in Big Bear, sort of enough to we're very blessed to be able to have that type of um, connection to the community market. Um, you know, Mark, John, Richard, uh, Mike, Pastor Mike, uh, Community Church, Calvary Chapel, Community Market, and Big Bear are fantastic individuals that are blessing this earth and Big Bear, and uh, they're great people. Um, so this salsa is amazing, three, four ingredients, and you can have your own amazing salsa, okay? I want everyone to have the same um, feeling as me when I open up my fridge, because all this stuff... Um, you can make all this, you just need to get cans, alright, and because this is, this is all homemade right here, this is fire roasted salsa, tomatoes that I fire roasted in my fireplace, um, and look how amazing that looks, I mean, how much would you pay for this in the store? A lot. Uh, community, I, I, I get some, you know, tomatoes, um, you know, are a bit expensive, but if you can get them donated to you, oh man, salsa baby. Um, I'm going through every jar, and this see, this is super special because this is the tomato consomme, um, and this is what pure tomato juice looks like uh, with a, a one jalapeno in there for spice and maybe some ginger. But this consomme, maybe, I think there is ginger in here too, um, which is unusual ish. But um, and see, this has been here for this has been here for four months, and look at that. They look amazing. Um, oh, my battery on my camera is going out. Um, Phil, can we get a battery change on Cam 3? All right. Well, actually, this there is no Phil here. It's just me. Um, no, Phil, you are a person. Okay, and so, yeah, and what have we got in here? Oh, my gosh. Um, oh, I got frost in here. It's gotten so cold. Oh, wow. Well, that's cool. Good to know. Um, peas. Some um, split peas that I soaked overnight. Uh, then cooked them. The soaking reduces the cooking time. And um, and then and, and then I added Parmesan, tomato sauce, garlic, a bunch of se se several seasonings. And then uh, I'm gonna take these beans and I'm gonna blend that and make that into a puree actually, or a soup. You can do that as well. Um, uh -oh. um, I also in here, um, have beans, refried, um, we've got these awesome cherry tomatoes here, which I need to eat ASAP, um, these cherry tomatoes from the farm, um, also got... Um, some English peas. Oh my gosh. English peas with jalapenos and cloves and garlic. Um, I can't show you because I need better camera equipment. But um, sw English sweet peas uh, with jalapeno cloves. Oh, lots going on in there. Um, more jalapenos. Um, always just easy to grab and go. Um, this is amazing, again, in here. Um, everything you open, you, this is a salsa verde I made with, uh, just like a mixture of oil and vinegar and, but the tomatoes, the carrots, um, we've got more, uh, green beans up here. Um, we've got pickled ginger I've had, you know, keep using, adding into it, but it's been there for like four months. You can still use that all, all day. Uh, a little bit of sour cream, some pumpkin puree back here, um, Sweet and sour sauce, homemade sweet and sour sauce. Very easy recipe. Um, and I've got some, oh man, that carrot cumin sauce. Um, roasted carrot cumin lemon sauce. Um, always have, you know, your pine syrups. Um, of course. Claro que si, claro que si, claro que si. Um, molasses. Awesome. Um, gotta have, you know, just peaches just in there. Um, you know. Uh, some more blueberries. Some more fresh.
fresh ones. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna cut this video at 15 minutes, I guess. Oh, this is fun. So this is my pine syrup with uh, juniper berries in there. Um, I had a little kid who's like, are there buggies in there? I'm like, no, this is pine syrup. And this is so good. Uh, thank you for donating this little jar to me. Uh, yeah, chef work, chef toys, cats, treasures, thank you. Um, and then your tuna syrup. Oh my gosh. All good stuff. I've already been over the butters. You gotta have your carry gold. If not, go for challenge. Um, also, oh my gosh, I have a lot of stuff in here. Danish creamery, but this is also my homemade butter. So clarified butter mixed with, I'm gonna get back to you on what this butter is, but this butter is unbelievable. It's got brown sugar, but it's got like chives, garlic, uh, wild ramps in there and it is unbelievable. All right guys um, I'm thinking I'm gonna close out this video here, but I'm gonna get back to you with a new one soon Thank you so much for watching and uh, God bless uh, and You know make the most of your day and live life to the fullest Don't be afraid fear is face everything and rise or fear everything and run so uh, live in love and Do your best every day. Uh, thank you for watching food is my weapon chef Ron Willis Talk to you soon. Bye.